yeah it's damien for alien integer.com and in this video and the ones following concerning dancehall music and culture i want to address a few simple matters i want to talk about the current position of dancehall and how it has grown in the last few years how with this growth comes a bigger spotlight more prestige and openness to further opportunity but also more vulnerability to the predatory character of other bigger music industries and acts I think talking about these matters are necessary just so we as a culture and people can put ourselves in a position of power, ownership and control instead of being left to the devices of foreigners so they can pick apart our substance, misguide and misdirect us, thereby opening us to even more exploitation than is already being done. I also have some questions. Let us ask ourselves, is dancehall serving the native Jamaican artist? Meaning is the current situation a good look? Or are we on the right trajectory? Have we offered up the culture for acquisition? Is the culture being usurped? Is the current arrangement simply the natural order? In terms of local music production, is imitation the new ethical imperative? Meaning, does it matter whether the artist is being original? And are we engaging in partnerships or are we victims of vulturism? Here's the thing. It's not like these questions are not being asked. At least some of them. For example, when watching an entertainment report, one frequently sees Anthony Miller ask questions about the music and the music business. But business practice is only a part of the composition here. The top layer, so to speak. So first off, native artists are struggling to make it big on an international scale because many of them buy the deception that all they have to do is work hard and be innovative and keep doing what they do and ultimately good things are going to come this is misleading for the record I have written about this on my blog alienintegercom and I'm going to place a link under the YouTube video just so people can go ahead and read it if they want to so the idea that dancehall is doing well if you notice it's the international artists that are doing well from dancehall you have your Drake Rihanna Tory Lanez party next door or whoever else they're coming and they're coming for a piece of this dance hall pie and when we see this as jamaicans we are so excited to celebrate others celebrating our culture that we feel hey we're doing well and people want to be like us people want to share with us but they don't want to be like us and they certainly don't want to share with us they want to take from us and that's the whole idea of innovation in this context Native peoples create, such as in Jamaica, in Africa, anywhere in the developing world, in the third world. People create their own products, sometimes through their genius and their ideas or their physical energies. And the first world or the developed world or what we could call the capitalizing world, meaning Europe and North America, they take. They come in and convince us or we are long convinced that, they, that we need to partner with them and that they can offer financing and that they can teach us lessons but if you notice the big hitters in dancehall are not native artists they are your Drake, Tory Lanez, Rihanna, Justin Bieber even and if you notice especially that Canadian connection right there right and it's their connection and proximity to the culture which helps with this meaning that proximity to the Jamaican immigrant community in Canada Toronto more specifically but it is the way the machine works. Native people create, foreigners innovate. And we just buy that. And we think that we just need to do things like branding and do better marketing and better business. These are important elements, but these are not the reasons we are not succeeding. We are not succeeding because of the current economic arrangement, which is a neoliberal economic arrangement or a capitalist economic arrangement, where we are expected to be satellites meaning that we're just client countries we just provide the raw materials such as the case where the Ivory Coast provides the cocoa and they say we buy it buy it at the cheapest possible rate and make the fancy finished chocolate and you buy it in the stores and supermarkets we all buy it well many of us or in the case of where Jamaica produced sugar back in the period of colonization ship that product off to England they refined it there then it was imported back or the case of tourism today where we have sorry we hold the land and natural resources but foreigners make all the profits and expropriate it back to their home countries and economies in the case of the culture the general goal and subsequent aims are no different 
where we will make the dance hall and they from the foreign countries will come and take the dance hall and do what they please with it. So we are celebrating and being excited that they are dancing like us and that they want to sing like us. But what they're doing is dancing and singing away precious dollars and opportunity from our culture and our industry. We're not being celebrated. We're not being honored. It's possible that it's simply a plot of usurpation. Drake the usurper, as I call him. People call him a culture vulture. People call him a fake. But what he is, is a usurper. He's the usurper in chief of popular culture. And dancehall is operating, or at least posing as a sort of popular culture nowadays. And that is why some of our industry experts are saying we need to get with the program. We need to innovate. We need to have better management and organization. What they're asking for is a Cajun of the beast. They're asking for bureaucratization, not simply professionalization as they sometimes claim. But the bureaucratization that they ask for is only subsumed under the economic model that these Western or Northern artists operate. And they know the game best. They play the game better than anybody else and we cannot compete the way they do. We have to go for a ground offensive. And when I say a ground offensive, I mean we need to point out what they're doing, talk about the appropriation and the rip-off that they're doing. We need to condemn them and criticize them for what they are doing because they're simply taking pieces of the culture, snipping at the culture and taking it for their own and then reselling it and we are consuming it. We're consuming it back in its processed, diluted, unsubstantive form. We are consuming not only those products, but those business ideas as credible and workable for us. Yes, many of us are actually consuming and supporting the idea of a mild takeover of our culture, which is our treasure, by the way. Breaking up this treasure into pieces, selling it back to us and others internationally at a premium. Innovation, right? We Jamaicans don't have a lot of money, so the premium is our future. And I choose not to use the word asset in this context. Our culture is treasure, and no balance sheet can measure that. We're believing in those ideas of conventional business measurements and practice, and those ideas are not just spread by the success that we see foreign artists gaining. It's spread, they are spread, through social media, we look into the social media and we see our own reflection and we get excited. But that excitement does not amount to any monetary or economic benefit. It's simply memetic resonance. It's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, YouTube and Instagram and you can see it. And you can look and say, oh look at me or look at us. But that's as far as it goes. It does not equate to financial or economic gain. So what we're doing, or what we have been doing, is simply following a pattern where we simply follow, we simply follow in the breadcrumbs which are set forth for us by foreign acts. And we need to understand that what is happening is a battle. We need to understand that it's a battle in the sense that we need to be ready for the competition. You see, artists talking about partnerships and talking about how to work with foreign acts. No, working with foreign acts can be a good thing. Trade can be a good thing, but it's not a partnership that's necessary. It's a battle that's necessary. The hip hop artist is your competitor. The hip hop or the pop artist is your opponent. We need to call out these foreign artists over what they are doing and we'll get to the details of that later when members of the community call out these artists we to support them last summer Drake was called out by Mr. Vegas where Mr. Vegas was calling him a fake and many people got on Mr. Vegas many charged that Mr. Vegas was quote unquote bad mind and that is the vernacular that is used to shut down conversation the point is not whether Mr. Vegas was hating as some might have felt. What matters is the substance of his argument. As a broad cultural matter, not just in the case of dancehall, we're shying away from truth and we're fighting truth. This will continue to hurt us. So what Drake has done, 